Hey guys, it's Two More For You Games or Adam and welcome to my first ever Fortnite Top 5 video and today we're gonna be going over five weapons that you should never use. Obviously Fortnite doesn't have a ton of different weapons but since each weapon has its own versions, it's good to know which versions are good and which versions are bad. So in today's Top 5, we'll be going over five weapons that you should completely avoid even though you may think they're good. Now, if you guys want to see more Fortnite Top 5 videos, please go ahead and drop this video a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas for future Top 5s and you want your comment featured in that video, go ahead and drop a comment with your idea. And if you see a comment down there with an idea you like, drop that comment a thumbs up. And besides that, guys, let's go ahead and talk about five guns that are horrible here in Fortnite. So coming in at the number five spot on my list, we have the semi-automatic pistol. Now this has three versions. You have the uncommon, which is the green version. You have the common, which is the white version. And of course, you have the rare version, which is the blue version. And there really isn't much of a difference in damage. The common does 23 and the rare does 25. So only a difference of a two damage. Now what's so bad about the semi-automatic pistol? For me, I find this gun to be wildly inconsistent. There are some games where I can actually just go on a tear with this thing. I think the gameplay I'm showing right now, I think I finished like top 10 maybe with a pistol and I had like six kills. So there are some games where I can actually get some kills and, and actually do something with it. And there are some games where I feel like I should be getting these kills and then everyone just annihilates me. If you're going up against somebody who has any kind of aim and can hit some of their shots on you, you're screwed because with this thing, with the low damage, you just, you can't expect to outgun people who have ARs, and of course, sometimes that does happen, but if you're going up against players who cannot aim, then this gun becomes somewhat decent. Of course, at range, it's not gonna do anything. Medium to close range is where this thing is effective, but overall, the gun it can be good, but should you be using it? Probably not. So coming in at the number four spot on my list, we have the Burst Assault Rifle, and it might trigger some of you that I put this gun on this list, but I'm sorry. I just do not like this weapon. I just, every time I use it, I always feel like I'm at such a big disadvantage. Now this gun has three versions. You have the common, the uncommon, and the rare. Let's start by talking about the common and the uncommon first. We're going to be finding those guns all over the place. So for the uncommon and the common version of this gun, these guns are all over the place on the map. And whenever I'm using these versions of this gun, I always feel like I'm at such a big disadvantage. I feel slow, I feel sluggish. And also, if I do not get that first burst of hits, I kind of feel like I have, first of all, given my position away, and I'm most likely going to lose the gunfight because the other guys most likely got the M16, and it just isn't good. Now, maybe that's just me, but from what I've heard, I know a lot of people don't like using the burst AR at all, but the thing is, the green and the white versions may be bad, but the blue version is surprisingly really damn good. Now, I don't know what they did with the blue version of this gun, but it is on a completely another planet. This gun is so damn effective, especially if you can land your shots or someone's just not moving. You can easily one burst somebody with this shot. It does a 121 damage per second. This thing is honestly amazing. There's so many times where I'm running and I'm getting shot in the back randomly. I turn around and I just one burst somebody with this gun. It's a huge leap up from the uncommon and the common versions. But again, it's rare. You're not going to find it all over the place. And honestly, guys, if it was between uh, a rarer burst and a rare M16, I'm probably going to take the M16 over this gun anyways. So coming in and at the number three spot on my list, I have the Scoped Assault Rifle, and this gun right here, it really confuses me. I don't understand this gun at all, and it might surprise some of you that I have this gun on this list, but this gun is really, really weird, and let me explain why. So first of all, there are two versions of this gun. You have the rare version, and you have the epic version as well, and there's only a difference in like one damage between the rare and the epic, which is really, really unfortunate, but... 
I don't even know where to start with this gun. First of all, it's a scoped AR, and since there's only a rare and epic version, you kind of feel like you want to take it, but every time I take this gun and use it, it gets me killed. Now, one thing that happens to me all the time when using this gun, and it honestly drives me incredibly crazy, I come behind somebody, they have absolutely no idea that I'm there, they're focused on something else, or they're just standing there. I'll crouch, I'll aim down sights with this gun, and I'm aiming right on them. I'll fire off like five shots, and guess what? None of my shots will hit. It honestly makes no sense. Now, that's just sometimes. There are definitely other times where I am using this gun and my shots will hit perfectly fine. But for the most part, this gun is kind of all over the place. There are shots that you think should hit, but they don't. And there are shots where you expect to miss and they hit. This gun is just, I think this is the most inconsistent gun in the game. You think it would be good, especially at range, but I feel like using an M16 or a SCAR is way, way better at range than the scoped AR. This gun definitely needs some improvements, but for now, if you get this gun, do not use it. So coming in at the number two spot on my list, we have the SMG. Now, to clarify, I'm only talking about the original SMG, not the suppressed SMG. Those are kind of two different guns in my opinion. The regular SMG has three versions. You have the common, the uncommon, and the rare. And this gun right here does the lowest damage in the game, okay? So uncommon and common do 10 damage. The rare only does 11. Now this does have the highest fire rate in the game, but with damage so low, this gun is infuriating. The SMG in this game is, honestly, it's, it's just bad. There's really not much to say about this gun right here. At close range, obviously that's where this gun shines, but I feel like even at close range, if you're going up against somebody who has a shotgun or a semi-auto pistol or an AR or honestly anything, there's a good chance you're going to lose that gunfight. And there have been so many times where there's just a tad bit of range between me and my enemy, and I'm shooting this thing and I just see headshot after headshot, and the guy just looks at me like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you using the SMG, man? And he just insta-kills me. I'm like, all right, well, I'm not going to use that gun again. The SMG isn't good. There have been times where I have gotten some kills with this gun at close range, even when someone has a shield, but I feel like you kind of have to catch somebody off guard. If they're expecting you and they're preparing to shoot at you, there's really no chance to win a gunfight with this gun, even if you're using the rare version that one extra damage isn't going to help you all that much. So here we are guys, the number one spot on my list. The one weapon that you should avoid at all costs in this game. And heck, I even recommend using the pickaxe over this one gun. And that weapon is the revolver. And my gosh, is this weapon bad? It is so difficult to kill somebody with this gun. I was trying to get gameplay for this and I could not get the kill. I always landed a couple of shots, but someone always had armor on and I could never get that third shot to hit. It's just so difficult to kill someone with this gun right here. And it does have three versions, of course. You have the common, the uncommon, and the rare. And the rare actually does six more damage than the common version, which is a pretty big jump. But even then, you gotta hit two shots with this thing in order to kill. And if somebody has any other gun, they're most likely gonna be able to kill you before you hit them with two shots of the revolver. There's even been a situation where I would come up behind somebody and they had no idea I was there. I got my two shots off and they had armor on. I could never hit that third shot because they realized I was there and they're moving around. And it's just so tough to hit somebody when they're moving with this gun. What I'm trying to say is the average Fortnite player will not be able to hit two to three shots in a row with this gun. I'm sure there are some pros out there that can absolutely annihilate with this gun. And one thing I hear a lot of is the revolver is great for the end game when you're taking somebody's armor down. And that might be the case, but really, do you want to waste a slot for the revolver just to take someone's armor down when you can do it with any other gun? Really, 
not the best idea and overall I think this gun is definitely the worst gun here in Fortnite. So there you have it guys, five weapons here in Fortnite that you should completely avoid at all costs. And one thing I do want to quickly mention is Whenever I'm talking about like accuracy and hitting your shots in this video, of course there's gonna be some players who are really good with specific guns, they can hit all their shots, but for the average Fortnite player, especially on console, they just won't be able to land a lot of the shots, like the with the revolver and the three bursts. It's just tough to do. On PC, I'm sure it's, it's different, but for the average player, it's really tough to get kills with these specific guns. So anyways guys, that is going to conclude our top five video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe, for more Fortnite Top 5 videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.